No one is as closely associated with the Bedford Blues as director of rugby Mike Rayner, who celebrates 10 years in the role in 2015. After four consecutive championship semi-final appearances, last year it was disappointing for Bedford, but they currently lie sixth in the table. We came down to Goldington Road to speak to Mike to find out what he loves about the Blues and his hopes for the rest of the season. Mike, you spent a huge chunk of your rugby career um, with Bedford as a player and as a coach. Tell us about your relationship with the club. Well, I came here in the late 90s, 96 to 98 as a player and um, had a great uh, two years here with a great group of people and, and realised um, what a special rugby town this was. The offer of the job came to come back to Bedford and coach here and I jumped at the chance and you know, I'm 10 years into my three-year plan here. It's gone so quickly, it's, it's, it's unbelievable and, and I feel so lucky to have been in this job for 10 years at such a great club, working for such a great chairman and um, having such a great group of people have, and players who have come through here and gone on to, to bigger and better things. So how would you sum up the season so far? Yeah, as I said, it, it, a slow start, um, frustrating at times because we've lost the odd game by a couple of points, but then you know, we've, we've uh, certainly turned the corner um, and we've seen some real improvement in, in, in individuals and obviously um, you know, our co cohesiveness as a, as a team. So um, since we've had a real thumping down in Cornish Pirates, um, we're, uh, we're, we're you know, much more like the, the Bedford side that, I, that I'd uh, you know, like to think uh, can compete and, and maybe knock on the door of, uh, of the playoffs. And looking to the weekend to uh, London Scottish, what, they're doing so well at the moment. What are you expecting from them? Yeah, well, they got a, they got a good side. That you know they had a good start the season, and they invested quite heavily in, in player recruitment. Um, they got an outstanding player, probably outstanding player in the championship in Mark Bright at number eight. Um, so you know we got to make sure we contain him. Um, but I guess it's about you know we haven't seen too many weaknesses in their game. It's about us at home, you know, taking the game to them, and um, we just got to make sure we don't give them easy field position and and um, you know leave Mark Bright dominate the game, which he can do easily.